Hey warriors, uh, Buffy the Breast Cancer Slayer here and in today's video we are not talking anything cancer related but more more so natural remedies. So I'm developing a cold. I don't know if you can tell by the sign of my voice but I will be juicing some lemon uh, which I've cut up into pieces with ginger and some garlic. I will add cayenne pepper to the whole mixture. So if anyone knows of Barbara O'Neill, she describes what you call a flu bomb or a flu shot, uh, where the mixture is lemon, ginger, um, garlic, cayenne pepper, honey, and eucalyptus oil. So the ingredients that I have, um, these are the only four ingredients that I'll have for today. So I do not have honey or eucalyptus oil, but I'll proceed anyways. So I'm just going to start with my juicing and I'll also take you through how I package my shots and then I'll give you a feedback on what the shot tastes like. So I'm using the Bennett Reed um, slow juicer. I prefer the slow juicer compared to a normal juicer because it squeezes all the juice out of whatever fruit or vegetable you want to juice. So when we juice, these are the essentials we need. A jar for all your juice um, once um, it's, it's filled up and one for all the pulp to fall into. Okay, let's begin. So I'll be starting off with the ginger. Let's begin. So I'm just going to throw all of that in there. So we've juiced all our ginger that's how much um, juice i got and this is all the pulp i got from all the ginger i'd cut up next we are juicing the lemon slices so i think it was um, six uh, lemons that i cut up And from six lemons, this is how much juice we've got, uh, about 350 mils of juice. And this is all the pulp we have. Mixed my lemon with ginger and this is the color you'll get. I'm now going to juice the remaining garlic. This part should be quick and easy. I'm now adding a tablespoon of cayenne pepper for the last part so just half a teaspoon and mixing it all up and next we package i've transferred all my mixture to a measuring jug so that i can um, package It's now time to taste what's left of the juice. Oh, it's got a kick. Very bitter. But I can taste all the ingredients. Even the garlic. <clears throat> and these are all our bottles. 10 250 ml bottles. Just the warning to never stick your wooden spoon in your juicer. I knew not to do that, but I did anyways. And this is what happened. It could have damaged my juicer, but luckily I managed to do damage control in time. 